Hey guys, this is Ben over at Cooper and Beamer Experts here in Irwindale, California. In today's video, I just want to show you the difference. I do not recommend doing these uh, solid mass flywheel conversions. And you see from the new side, this is the one with the dual mass as opposed to this one that was the solid flywheel. You can just see the amount of surface area that is not there. It's a different setup on this one. You see the springs and they take the rotation uh, or the shock out of it, the engagement and disengagement, whereas this one is solid, but the dual mass flywheel right here, it has its, its spring right there in the middle with the tension. So what I've observed is when people do this, this conversion, the clutch lasts half the time. Uh, you're looking 40 to 50,000 miles, you'll do a clutch again, whereas the way the factory did it, you're looking at, I would say, 75 to 125,000 miles. So I would recommend not doing that conversion kit when you're doing a clutch. You just go back the way the factory had it. And also, a little tech tip, you see the rear main seal is not leaking. I don't ever replace this. The only time I ever see rear main seals leak is when people replace them and then they start to leak. So that's a little tech tip for today. Don't replace the rear main when you're doing a clutch and keep it factory. We don't want to uh, make it wear out more than, than it's necessary. And this is the flywheel for the conversion right here. So keep it stock guys. All right, thanks so much. And as always, thank you for watching. Check out our other videos and if you have any questions about Mini Coopers or BMWs, ask in the comments below.